I'm Clay Carlino, and I don't have enough room in my new truck to store my toolboxes. I mean, there is enough room, but everybody can see that they're there. Brutus had, I guess it's called a crew cab, which is extended, but it doesn't have a full back seat. It's, uh, it, it's kind of a half back seat, which I guess maybe you could put a child seat. But other than that, it was really only good for piling crap up. And I would keep my toolboxes in there underneath some moving blankets, and you couldn't really tell that anything was back there because it was so tight. But the new truck, has a full-sized back seat, which is awesome. But there's nowhere to hide anything, you know? And I don't want to leave my toolboxes just sitting here where anybody looking in through the windows would be able to see, hey, tools, all I have to do is break a window and steal tools or whatever. And then they'd be doubly disappointed when they found out that most of my tools are from Harbor Freight. But that's beside the point. So I needed a better way to store my tools. Also, this truck, has a Tona cover on it, which is great, but I used to have a truck box and I could keep tools in there. I no longer have a truck box. So, my solution, out with the old bulky toolboxes, in with the new top secret toolboxes. Yeah, look at that. I got these zipper folios at Walmart for about $6 each. They're three ring binders with a canvas outside and then zipper closure that keeps everything contained. So I got these things and then I made these trays to keep all of my tools. Now I did have to get rid of the three ring binders that were right in here. And they're just held in with rivets. Here, I'll show you. So this is one of the three ring binders that used to be inside here. And it just has a rivet here and a rivet here, which is pretty easy to remove. You just have to drill it out. Now the rivet is gonna to wanna to spin, so you may have to drill at a little bit of an angle to get enough of the head off to be able to pull this out. And then you just pull the rest of the rivet through. So, once I got rid of the three ring binders, I traced my tools onto these pieces of foam. These are actually anti-fatigue mats, which I got at Five Below for about $3 a tile. And it took me about two tiles to make uh, all these trays. Then I used some uh, Super 90 spray adhesive to stick them to, in this case, the back of a piece of cardboard. And this one, which is actually two layers thick because the tools are, you know, the handles are very thick, uh, I glued them right into the inside of this folio. So now I've got all my screwdrivers here, my pliers, my Allen wrenches, and this one, which has the nice hex pattern. I have all of my sockets, or at least most of my sockets. The sockets that are useful. And once again, this tray is on cardboard. These ones are just glued right into the folio. And then the last one, I didn't even need to make any special trays. It just kind of holds everything in place. And then I color coded them so that I know which one is which. And I can zip them up, put them back in their place right under the seats. And then put the seats down and boom. I've got all the tools that I usually need at any given occasion and a full back seat. So, that's it. I know I didn't, uh, I didn't really shoot a whole lot of process. Uh, I, I really just kind of did this because I needed to get it solved and I didn't want to record it. So, sorry about that. But, knowing that you do not need to be afraid to use school supplies to hide your tools.
This is Clay Carlino telling you to be brave and have fun doing it.